It was in the year of 2012, in the lovely month of June. With carfies were a swarming, dogs howling at the moon. With rosary beads and bulmers for dub and wee began. So he's packed his mail for a race book and jump leads for the van. Some of the lads had never been away from home before. For the first time he went Sweeney, but his foot outside the door. Before we left for Dublin, we knew we need a plan, and we all agreed to stretch with a man to drive the van. And Dublin, the M1, was like the Killaby Road. There was every make of car and van carrying the full load. For transit and hiasis, a bed for frontally, with engines overheating from Long Hall and duty free. It was France from Ballyshannon, Ballyhear and Ballyar. On the journey of a lifetime, we didn't drive very far. So she met the Mayo's daughter in the banks of Kilby, and he said that she'd be welcome and drum on it for tea. As soon as we found Dublin, got the wagons on a right. And Jared pulled out the banjos when he played the mandolin. There was fans there from everywhere attracted by the sound. As threats right up the rashers and passed the sausages round. The session had soon ended, the stress drank all the stout. The air mattress inflated and sleeping bags rolled out. As one by one they fell asleep and stretch, he had a dream. He dreamt himself and Jim McGuinness sat down to pick the team. Threats dreamt they both agreed on dark and straight away. And Murphy, Lacey and McFadden were certainly to play. But tempers they began to rise and patience were thin. And Jim wanted Bradley and Stretch wanted McGlynn. The dream turned into a nightmare. Stretch gave Jim an awful rap. Who wanted to McBrady and Kevin Cassidy back? The cock crew in the morning and crew both loud and shrill. Stretch woke up in a sleeping bag many miles from the Kala Hill. Next morning all the experts gave us the highest chance and said the Mayo bastards would shit their bloody pants. With the red and green the Mayo fans for victory they were set. And Michael Murphy got the ball and stuck it in the net. What happened next is history but tear to many eyes. That day will be the highlight of many people's lives. Stretch climbed right over the top The last time he was seen was arm in arm As Jim McGuinness singing revenge for Skibbereen 